Film integrated circuits come with a base plate, cardboard, made of the electrics, glass, ceramics, etc. Passive elements, that is, resistors, capacitors, coils, and connection between such elements are all made as different films applied to the base plate. Active elements, diodes, transistors, are not made of film, because then their quality wouldn't be the best. Thus, film integrated circuits contain passive elements only and are, in a sense, RC or other circuits. Base plates are the electric plates that are open 5 to 1 mm thick, thoroughly filed and polished. Film resistors are made by applying resistant film to the base plate. If the resistor's resistance is not designed to be too large, such film is made of a high-resistance alloy like nichrome. High-resistance resistors are made of the metal and ceramic alloy called cermet. The ends of such resistor films are applied with outputs, metal films that simultaneously act as the lines connecting the resistor with the other elements. The resistance of a film resistor depends upon the thickness and width of film, its length and manufacturing material. To increase resistance, film resistors are made in zigzag-like shapes. This image shows the structure of a film resistor. Resistivity of film resistors is expressed in special measurement units arms per square, because the resistance of the square-shaped film does not depend on the size of such square. Film capacitors most often come with only two plates. One of them is applied to the base plate and continues as a connection line. Then it's cut with a dielectric film. The second plate is connected on two. It too acts as a connection line. Depending on the dielectric width, capacitors can be thick or thin film. Film coils are made as flat spirals primarily of rectangular shape. The width of conducting bands and gaps between them usually constitute a couple dozen micrometers. Specific inductance is equal to 10, 20 nanohenry to square millimeter. Usually such coils come an inductance of several microhenry at the most. Hybrid integrated circuits where passive elements are made of film and the active ones, diodes, transistors, are add-ons also enjoy increased popularity. Hybrid integrated circuits are made in the following way. First we need to make a base plate. It needs to be thoroughly filed and polished. Then we apply resistive films, followed by the bottom plates of capacitors, coils and connection lines, then the electric films and metallic ones again. This is followed by adding glue and active elements and other discrete components. The outputs are connected to the respective point of the circuit. And finally the circuit is placed in the case and connected to the plugs.